It's a multi-billion dollar pre-election sweetener. The Premier's flagged an education trust fund to be set up using royalties from the emerging liquefied natural gas industry. Anna Bly says she wants to make sure everyone benefits from the looming resources boom. But the LNP's described the announcement as a cynical stunt. The Premier came to promise big dollars for education, but big announcements don't always go to script. We'd just like to commence uh, the proceedings today with a short video presentation. The presentation charted the government's past policies before Anna Bly outlined her next plan. It is a proposal to establish a Queensland Education Trust Fund. 50% of future royalties from the LNG industry would go into the fund about $1.8 billion. One option is to give each child born from next year their own trust account to be spent on education. It won't be money that people can spend on plasma TVs. It's not a handout, it's a hand up. The money couldn't be accessed until they turn 18, by which time the government estimates each individual nest egg could hold up to $10,000. The first children to benefit will be those that turn 18 uh, in 2030. That's like superannuation. It seems like a long way away, but that's how you prepare for the future. The other option is for a general pool of funds. The idea is open to consultation until late February. From a teacher's point of view, we welcome that investment in education. There's nothing revolutionary about spending uh, money that you actually haven't got. Yes, these royalties are a couple of years away but that's exactly why we should be thinking about them now. With this announcement, the Premier is making education a key plank in her re-election pitch. Anna Bly says she wants the next poll to be a contest of ideas. Campbell Newman says he has ideas to rejuvenate the tourism industry. It's a very real target of doubling overnight visitor expenditure in Queensland to $30 billion. We would hold an LNP government to account on those promises. The LNP leader's not handing out any extra money for the industry. He says there's simply none in the kitty. Nor is Mr Newman promising the LNP's current tourism spokeswoman would keep her portfolio in government. I can't give you the tourism minister's name. No offence, Jan. None taken. Jessica Van Vonderen, ABC News.